Hello everybody, welcome back to my studio. Um, this is my um, cheat load of cards. So Call Me Crafty Owl on YouTube has a channel and every month she, pro uh, she produces a sketch and supply list like this to show us how to use up our pretty pattern papers. Uh, this is the one for May 2022 um, and this one's using six by six papers. Um, they come like this. I'll leave a link to her channel if you want to be able to get hold of this um, printable. Um, so it gives you the full size sketch. It tells you how much you need. So for this particular May 22, we need three 6 by 6 pad papers and some solid card stocks for our mats and layers and also our card bases. She tells us always how many cards it will yield. Um, so this time we'll get six. And then she gives the dimensions for a single card and some alternative ways to um, lay it out. And then she gives you on the second page, she gives you the cutting guides for how to um, cut up your patterned paper, your card stock and your sentiment strips. Now, obviously, most of us have scraps, um, so I tend to use scraps for the sentiment strips. I'm based in the UK. The dimensions for all of her sheet loads are designed for American A2 size cards, which are the card front is uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. Now, in the UK, our standard card size, um, which is a is a C6 card like this, our standard card front size is four and one eighth of an inch by five and just shy of five and three quarters. It's actually five and 13 sixteenths. So five and three quarters is here. And it's literally just one tiny notch smaller. No, five and, five and three quarters. Yeah, was that right? Now, see, now I'm just double checking myself. Oh, it's one notch above five and three quarters. So it's actually, yeah, five and five and thirteen sixteen. So it's nearly, it's near, you know, it's just one notch back from the five and five and seven eighths, basically. So yeah, it's one tiny little notch. So our, our card sizes are different. Um, I adapt the sheet loads every time I do them um, so that I can make them work for a standard UK sized card front. Um, that's just a random card. So I change the dimension. So I'll show you on this printable how I've changed the dimensions of the pattern paper pieces that she calls for. It doesn't mean that you need any more than a six by six piece. Um, basically, any time on our uh, Crafty Owl's sheet load that she's talking about the length of the card and she's asked for something to be cut to five and a half inches, I am cutting that to five and 13 sixteenths. Um, she has cut this larger piece, the matted, cardstock layer um, she has called for that to be three and three eighths I have made it four or three and three quarters and I've made it four so these are the ones that I've made so yes this piece of pattern paper here is one inch by five and thirteenth thirteen sixteenths this piece at the top is two and two by two, as is called for in the sketch. And the piece at the bottom is two inches by three and nine sixteenths. So there is a quarter of an inch gap, which is hiding behind this sentiment strip. So if you wanted to, what you could just do is when you're cutting these, is cut your strip, your whole strip like this, to the five and thirteen sixteenths and then chop two inches off the top because the fact that there isn't a gap between 
a quarter of an inch gap between those two papers isn't noticeable if you're then if that's where you're going to put your sentiment obviously if you're going to put your sentiment further down and you want to have this quarter inch gap as represented on the sketch here then you would need to to take off a quarter of an inch or four sixteenths um so these are the six cards that i have made i've made them all thank you cards um a friend of mine is going through some stuff at the moment and required a lot of thank you cards to send out to people um and she saw this patterned paper when it was sat in my living room and said that she quite liked the birdies um so i decided that i would make a set of thank you cards for her so that she can give them out um so the paper that i've used is um an older first edition paper pad called making memories which came with 48 sheets some of which have got spot gloss and uv and some of which are double-sided um so i've used three papers from that one they're all on standard as i said white um card mats i've used from my snash um some scrap or some spare cardstock that i had in a retired stamping up colour called uh, Wisteria Wonder which I thought went quite nicely with the pale purple that's in the papers. I've also used um, some Smoky Slate cardstock from my Smash. The greetings on all of the cards I've either put them thanks or you're amazing and I've put them on either a one inch strip or a three quarters of an inch strip and just banner cut the ends. Now I mean I used a Stampin' Up punch um, but obviously you can just do that with scissors um, should you want to. The sentiments that I've used are from a set that's no longer available. It came in a kit for with Stamping Up years ago. Um, I think it was called Watercolour Wishes. But I really liked the fonts in it. So as I said, I've used the thanks and the you're amazing sentiments from both of them. And like I say, I've just made six cards. Um, they've been embellished with some spare and um, little gems in my stash that I was trying to get rid of and on the inside of pretty much all of the cards I have put a little scrap of patterned paper that I had left over from cutting these pieces you do end up with a tiny bit of wastage um but it is only a very tiny bit and um, it's a tiny bit if you're cutting them to five and a half for a for a US size card so it's this bit down the bottom and um, it's even less if you're cutting it for a UK sized a UK sized card I did actually um I'll show you the second set I did actually make two sets of these but the first set that I made which is actually the second set that I'm showing you I got massively I, I don't know what I was thinking I got confused when I was cutting things so instead of cutting this this strip that's supposed to be one inch strip for whatever reason my brain just stopped working and I cut that strip at one and a half inches um, so I only got four out of a piece of pattern paper as opposed to six and was most confused when I went to try and like put things together. As it was, I decided for my first set that I was going to use exactly the same paper for this strip because I decided that the other pattern that I used, which was this rainbow pattern, didn't look good to my eye in just one inch strips so I didn't want to use it for one inch strips and it was just easier for me to go right I'll use all the blue arrow paper for the one inch strips which I accidentally cut a one and a half and then I'll use this like watermelon speckledy colour and the rainbow paper for the two by two and the on the original sketch two two and three quarters um or two and three eighths piece so I decided that I would just use this but as I said I mucked up and I and I and I cut them wrong so it meant that I had to use an extra half a sheet of this blue paper to make six um but I just adjusted it slightly which is you know which is easy enough to do so this one uses papers from exactly the same pad which is the first edition making memories pad sentiments are the same um but this time I used um stamping up cardstock in and ink in flirty flamingo um, and again, gems from my stash. And again, they have pieces of paper to decorate on the inside. Um, and then I used for the other three, um, same pattern papers, again, same greetings, um, Flirty Flamingo ink. Um, and this green that's in the background is a very old retired green, which I believe was called Pistachio P 
pudding, something like that. I have quite a lot of retired colours of things, um, which I'm attempting to use up. So that's my one properly done, but two sets of sheet loads for the Call Me Crafty L sheet load of cards, May 2022, sketch and supply um, thing. If you, if you go to Alicia's channel, you can um, look at past sheet loads. She puts them out once a month, like I say. She shows you the sketch, then all her design team and collaborators show you their interpretations of it. Uh, the following day, she shows you a process video, etc. Um, and if you follow either of the hashtags, the show us your S U Y S May 2022 or hashtag show us your sheet load. If you follow any of those on um, social media, you'll be able to see loads of examples. And if you follow the show us your sheet load one, you won't just see them for this particular month, the May 2022. You can look at sheet load examples going back. I think she's been doing them for several years. Um, I only discovered them a couple of years ago and I've been trying to play along. Um, I don't always play along. On occasion, she does um, sheet loads for mini slimline cards, which the envelopes are basically impossible to get in the UK for a reasonable price. They're like a size 10 envelope. Um, so I don't I don't use the sheet loads on those on those months. I still print them out and keep them because the layout ideas could be adapted to a regular sized slimline or a different or a different style of card. But um, I prefer to um, make cards in sizes that I can use. I don't mind making A2 size cards, but obviously in the UK, I can't make two A2 card US A2 card blanks out of one sheet of RA4. It's not wide enough. Um, it is tall enough, but it's not wide enough because it's only four and an eighth of an inch wide as opposed to eight and a half inches wide. Um, and again, yeah, in the UK, it's harder to get hold of A2 size envelopes, etc. Or not harder to get hold of, they're just more expensive. So, um, yeah, enough, enough waffle from me. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this. I hope you go over to um, Alicia's channel and uh, try a sheet load. It's a great way of using up pattern paper. And uh, if you'd like to like and subscribe to this video, that'd be great. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.